Hello. 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 This is Sophia class. Hello. 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 What's your name? I'm Mrs. Naeem. Mrs. Naeem? Yes, I'm Mrs. Naeem. I'm a teacher. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, yes. Yeah. So, are we ready to start, everybody? Yes? Okay. Good afternoon, Year 2. Thank you very much for inviting me to your school. I'm Mrs. Naeem. I am a primary school teacher and I have been asked by your teachers to cover Islam and what our story is on how the world began and on creation. So I'm going to start off with a PowerPoint presentation and then we will finish off with questions and answers. Okay, right, so here we go. Islam and the story of creation. And uh, what we believe is what is written in our Quran, which is our holy book of Muslims. So in the Quran, it is actually written um, the story of how the world began. And uh, we believe that God made everything. So we believe in one God called Allah, and we believe that he made everything. And the first thing that he did, which is actually written in the Quran, is that it was him who created day and night. And then he created all the things in the sky, the sun, the moon, the stars, the planets, everything, everything in the whole sky. And then he made the world. And in the world, he made all the animals. He made all the fishes in the sea and he made everything. Plants as well, all in the world and the water and the sea and all the things that live in all those trees and forests and, and the rivers and the seas. And then he decided to get some clay and he then made a man. And he called that man Adam. And Adam was taken up where God lives, where Allah lives, up in the heavens. And it was there that he got all the angels and he told them to bow down to Adam. He said, this is my very special creation that I've made with my own hands. And he's made out of clay. And I'd like all of you angels to bow down to him. So all the angels, they did exactly what God said. And they bowed down to Adam. Except there was one very, very naughty person there. He was like an angel, but he was made out of fire. He originally was actually a very good person and he used to worship God. But he refused to bow down to Adam. He said, I'm not bowing down to him. I'm made out of fire. I'm far more better than him. And him, he's just made out of earth. He's just made out of clay. I'm not going to bow down to him. He was arrogant. He thought he was better than everybody else. And he did not listen to God's command. So God got very, very angry. And God said, that's it. You're out of here now. You're not going to live with me anymore. You're going to go down to the lower heavens. Okay, so he was made down to go down to the other heavens. In the meantime, God also made a wife for Adam called Eve, Adam and Eve. And that she was there to give him company as a friend. So as they traveled around the heavens, God told them that you can eat and drink for whatever you like. You can eat any vegetables you like, any fruit you like. You can eat from any tree you like. However, there is one tree that you are not allowed to eat from. Okay. And that tree, you, I have specifically told you not to eat from that particular tree. So Adam and Eve said, yeah, we won't. We won't eat from that tree. 
So in the meantime, that very, very naughty angel-like thing that was made out of fire was roaming around the heavens. And he went around and he started to try and change Adam and Eve's mind. So he said to Adam, you know what? You know why God doesn't want you to eat from that tree? Because he thinks that if you eat from that tree, you're going to live forever and you're going to live forever. He doesn't want, to, want you to live forever. So you know what? You should eat from that tree. So slowly, slowly, every day, that naughty thing, which we call a devil, actually started influencing Adam and Eve. And Adam at the first, he said, no, I'm not eating from that tree. God told me not to eat from that tree. I've got plenty of other things to eat from. But in the end, he did actually get influenced by the devil, by Satan. And then he actually did eat from that tree, which is very, very sad. And that tree was actually a tree of knowledge because all of a sudden he started seeing things that he shouldn't have seen. So he noticed that he wasn't wearing any clothes. So he got the leaves and he quickly started covering his body up. So he was really ashamed because he knew that God is going to find out. And guess what? God did find out because God saw him that he had covered up all his body with leaves. And he said, did I not tell you to not eat from that tree? So he did say he was sorry. He did repent. But the punishment for that was that then God sent Adam and Eve and that devil down onto earth instead of living up there on, on uh, the heavens. And all this actually happened in the gardens of Eden. So it was actually in the garden of Eden, which we believe is in the middle heaven, and it was there that this tree was that they ate from. And it's from that tree that that evil Satan was then thrown down below all the heavens down to earth. And God said that you are going, you are disgraced because you corrupted up Adam and Eve. And you are now going to live on the earth. And I will only actually give you respite until the end of the world. And after that, you will be punished. And Adam and Eve as well, they went down as well to earth. And what we believe then is from Adam and Eve, everybody came on the earth. So we are all related to one another. One another. So Adam and Eve, if you like, our, our great, 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 great grandfathers and great, 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 great grandmother, Adam and Eve is. And from there, the whole world came slowly. So then they had children and they had children and they had children and then the whole world was made. And we also believe that all the really good people which came on the earth, which are the prophets, which God sent to tell people to be good, like Noah or Abraham or Moses or Jesus and Muhammad, they are all related to one another, like you can see on the chart, were all originally from Adam and Eve. And all those prophets eventually led up to Prophet Muhammad, who we believe was the last prophet who refreshed all the laws from before and updated any laws according to the time uh, that he came. And all of that happened all in the Middle Ages in 610 AD. Okay, so... Islam is not a new faith, but it's the same faith which was brought to everybody, to all the prophets and to everyone. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to put you all back on again. You should now be able to see me. And if each class, maybe if we can start off with Sapphire, can unmute and we can have uh, questions. Okay. So if I can ask anyone more calls or questions, as we go. I have a question. So, so, so then, uh, when, what was the earth when it wasn't created yet? 
Okay, that's a very, very good question. The earth was just nothing. There was nothing there. And God said, be, and then the earth was made. Just like that. That's how great God is. There was nothing. There was all space, completely all space out there. Okay, well done. Very, very good question, Amelia. Well done. Right, let's have one more. Uh, I saw that I saw that um spiky is it was red. What was red? Um, the, Have you got a question? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it was the devil. Would you like to find out anything? He was red because he was made out of fire, and because he was made out of fire, he thought himself better than everybody else. Right, come to the picnic. Um, what did God make in, inside the sea? What did God make inside the sea? Okay, he made fishes and he made whales and dolphins, everything that you can think of that lives in the sea. Okay, and that's when he made the sea, that's when he made all the creatures that live in the sea. Okay, we will come back to Sasha again. Let's have the other class now. Why was the earth made? Why was the earth made? Now, that's a very, very good question. The earth was made because God already had it in his lovely plan that he was going to put Adam and Eve on the earth. Because if Adam and Eve didn't come on the earth, how would we all have come? How would we all be on the earth? Okay. So uh, that is really the future plan that God had already. So what happened up there was already pre-planned. Okay, well done. Very, very good questions here. Very clever children. How was God made? God was already there. He was not made by anyone. Okay, so we believe that God is great. Nobody made him. He was always already there. Nobody. No. Okay, he was already made. He made everything else. How did he make people? How did he make people? So he made the first man, Adam, with clay, with his own hands. Eve was made out of the rib of Adam. Okay, so Eve was made out of his rib, and then everything else was made. Adam. Like a husband and wife, it was made of different types of them, different colours, which is why we are all different colours. That's what Muslims believe. So Adam was actually made of five different colours of earth and different textures, which is why some people have different colours and some people have different kinds of personalities. Some are soft, some are hard, some are strong, some are soft. It all depends. Okay, very interesting. Okay, let's have okay. some more. Okay. Yes. How did God make made animals? How did God make animals? He just said be and then they just came. That's how easy it was. He just said the word be and the animals came on the on dry land and on the wet land. Okay. Okay. Good, well done. We've got one more there. I can see with a hand up. Bring it in. You can. A bit, a bit closer and speak a bit louder. How are the words created? Words. Words, like language. Oh, yeah. good. How is language created? Yeah, how are languages created? Now, that's very, very interesting. We believe that angels actually taught Adam how to speak. He taught him, them, him lots and lots of words. And when Adam came on the earth, there was only one language, just one language. Okay. We believe that that may have been Arabic. But as different people moved out in different worlds, in different areas of the world, they added up different words. Okay. Even the language that we speak today, English, was very different to what it was in the Middle Ages. It was all thou and thee and out and all this 
business art. Okay, and nine and all the old fashioned words are different. But over time, language then evolves and changes. And from there, as Adam's children went into different areas of the world, they then changed the language. But even now, there are so many words in every language. Okay, that was an excellent question. I am so pleased with both of these classes. Very, very clever children with very interesting questions. Well done. Right, I think I can see another two hands up in that same class. What happened to the math? Which math? Say a bit louder. What happened to the math? What's happened to the man? Are we talking about the horrible the state? The devil? The devil? What do you mean, Adam, the man? The man. The man, Adam. Adam, he lived till a long time and then eventually he passed away. But his children then took over his mission. So there was uh, uh, he said he was the next prophet, actually, Adam. So he took over his mission. And then from there, Later, his mission. So you may have heard of no answer. He then took over his mission. Then from there, then later generations, Abraham came. And then Isaac and Ishmael. And then Moses and then Jesus and then Muhammad. So his leg legacy carried on. Okay? We believe we are the great, 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 great grandchildren of Adam and Eve. Okay? Okay. Well yep. done. Excellent. I think we have one more question in that class. Very active class there. Emma? Yes. Mary Emma. How did God create Eve? How did God create Eve? He created her from the, from the rib of Adam. And this is the same story as in the Bible. Okay. That's how he created be from the rib of Adam. Well done. Off you go. Next child there. I can see two more hands up. Why were people created? Why were people created? People were created according to Islam to worship. To worship God. To worship Allah. That's why we are created. Okay. To remember God. Well done. Very, very clever questions. Right, we had one more. That I saw a hand up in the same class. Yeah, we've got another one here. Well done. Good. God made light. God made the light. light. Light, yes. And we also believe that God Himself is a light as well. So we believe God is a light. And God made the sun with the light. Okay, well done. Right, let's now move on to the other class. Sapphire, I think it was. If you've got any questions now, if you can now come to the front and ask some questions. I'll give you a chance. Some of you may have thought so. I can see four hands up. Why was the devil mean to the people? Why was the devil mean to the people? Mean to the people. He's angry. He's jealous of Adam because Adam was given more attention by God than he was. He told everybody has to bow down to Adam. Okay. So you know that Satan, that devil, he's really angry. He wants to corrupt up everybody. He wants to make them bad people because he doesn't want them to obey God. He's angry with them because they, they're better than him, aren't they? Okay, well done. Next person. What was the sun made of? The sun is made of gases. And the gases is what which is what gives us the heat. Okay. Yeah. Well done. Was God really alive or did he just stay in the air? 
God is God not is alive, alive and God is not there. He watches everybody and he sees everything that we do. That's what Muslims believe. Okay? And he's nothing to be frightened of. He's very God is not He looks after us. Nice. What is the moon like? What is the moon like? The moon is actually just Earth. And did you know that at night it shines because it's actually the sun which is shining on it? It's the sun that shines that makes it shine. That's actually the sun actually makes a sign of the land. Okay? You can actually see pictures of the moon line and it's just like just two grey earth basically. Nobody lives. What happened to the devil because he's not here anymore? He is here, I can't see him, and he doesn't see his people. All the people that do bad are really bad, like stealing, stealing or, or, you know, doing bad, bad things. We believe it was the devil that is us. People are innocent, it's the devil that is us to do bad. You can't see his people. Okay. Any more? Um, no. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. We really enjoyed it. I think we children. Yeah. Uh, what have you got to say? Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. It was a pleasure to teach you all. Thank you very much. I would like to definitely add on that the children were very, very clever and they understood everything that I said and their questions were so good. They really should be very understanding. So I must say that in both classes, very pleased to be Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much for listening.